the first of today's two Grand Nationals is up next. It's the Irish Grand National, first of all. And this is over three miles and five furlongs. It's a grade three handicap. And at the top, we've got Cape of Piers for Darren Thompson. Banks of the Nile, Leon Van Rensburg, San Jose Optimistic, Vinnie Gerrard, Green T, David Hooney, Rock On, Susie Q, Graham Clutterbuck, Ozark Largo, Vinnie Gerrard, Ninth Edition, Craig Allen, Boomerang Amman, Graham Clutterbuck, Cozy Brader, David Robertson, Bella Cheval, James Shea, Wizard, Martin Leedham, Quality Queen, Stu Gray, Meletrian Slane, Thomas Rogers, Plyne Lukey, Martin Leedham, Shamadal Phantom, Thomas Rogers, and Inspirina Relief for James Shea. Good field at 16 then for this which is good to see, and away they go. Got a good long distance races this week, and some good healthy fields. Everybody likes to put themselves in a good few four milers, three and a half milers, don't they? It's the only area in the league that's never really undersubscribed. There's always plenty of horses for these long distance races, and they wreck down towards the first of the 22. And there's already a couple of fallers. San Jose Optimistic actually is the only one, the other mistakes recovered, but San Jose Optimistic has gone for Vinnie Gerard, so not many reasons to be optimistic today, apart from the fact that he's still got Ozark Largo going, and that one's not without a chance, but it's Rock On Susie Q leads him into this ditch, which is the second, and over it they all go, they're all safely over the second, with Rock On Susie Q clear by six lengths, then Cape of Piers and Cozy Braid up, Inspiration and Relief is next to that one, wide on the track is Wizard, that one's quite close, but it's very wide as they take the third, and they're all safely over the third with green tea. Just the back marker. Oh, perhaps Boomerang and Man. So maybe it's a first and last book ending situation for Graham Clutterbuck at the moment. Then, as Rock on Susie Q continues to lead the Irish Grand National field into fence number four, but she did her best to get rid of the jockey at that one. Oh, maintained. A lead of four lengths, though, from the top weight Cape of Pears is now moved through into second. Then Inspirina Relief is after that one, and Ozark Lago, and then Plyne Lukey getting a little bit closer, but he jumped that one slowly. Quality Queen jumped through nicely as well, and most of these are giving themselves plenty of racing room. They're not crowding each other out. They're nicely spaced out, if you like, and Rock On Susie Q leads into this ditch. As they get over that one, they're all safely over the ditch with Green Tea and Boomerang Amman. Just a little bit detached. Ninth edition is also towards the back of the field. But it's Rock On Susie Q who leads at this point from Cape of Pears in second. As they get down to the seventh of the 22 fences they've got to take. They're all safely over that one. Just lost the one so far. At the very first fence, that was San Jose. Optimistic, but it's Rock On Susie Q who's taking them along in the lead from Electrian Slane second and Cape of Pears third and in Spirina Relief is after that one with Cozy Braid of the Grey on the inside of Plyne Lukey and Quality Coin as they get to the eighth which again they're all over although a little bit untidy at the back was Boomerang Amman and Rock On Susie Q and to go one better than Graham Clutterbuck's charge did in the Grand National last week. As they get to the ninth, and they're all safely over the ninth. With Rock on Susie Q, five lengths clear again. Of Meletrian Slane second. And Cape of Piers is third. And Inspirina Relief is after that one. With Cozy Brader. Next, Cozy Brader might be the only grey in the film, but it looks which is quite unusual. Rock on Susie Q at the 10th. All over that one they go in. Spirina Relief was a little bit untidy. Uh, lost a couple of places in the pack. But Rock on Susie Q continues to lead then as they make their way towards fence number 11. They've gone up the straight now. And a mistake on the wide outside there by Wizard. they have seen that one go to the back and Bella Cheval has gone. So Bella Cheval's a fall up. As they pass the stand then, they pass the winning post. And then they'll go out for one more complete circuit of Fairy House. And it's Rock On Susie Q who leads by about four. To Cape of Pears is in second, and Ozark Largo is third. Military and Slane is four, and Inspirana Relief is five, and Quality Queen is six, and Crozy Blader is seven. And then Ninth Edition eight, and Plyne Lukey nine, and then Green Tea and Boomerang of Ireland, Wizard, and Banks of the Nile. And finally, Shamadal Phantom. Just the back marker, but no more than a dozen or so lengths off the leader as they take number 12. And over that one they go with Rock On Susie Q. Continuing to show the way 
to top white cape of pears in second. Ozark Largo is third and Inspirina Relief is fourth. Then Quality Queen and Cozy Breeder with Miletri and Slain in ninth edition as they get to this ditch. And all over that one okay as well. Flying Luke has lost his place and is now towards the back of the pack. Rock on Susie Q. Still rocking on in the lead. From the Cape of Pears as they take the 14th. All over the 14th nicely. And only a little more than a mile and a quarter to go now. And these two starting to shuffle themselves into position to make a challenge. And Rock On Susie Q leads by a length and a half to Cape of Pears in second. Inspirina Relief is in third. Backs of the nine are injured on the outside as they take the 15th. All safely over the 15th as well. Green T's also making a significant looking move around the outside to come through to challenge the leading group. But Inspirina Relief might have poked its head in front as they get over the 16th. Over the 16th they go. Rock On Susie Q and Inspirina Relief disputing the lead. Going down to the final mile, then Banks of the Nile, Green Team, Miletri and Slain. Wizard is now coming around the outside as well, as they get to this ditch. Over the ditch they go, all safely over that one as well. Cozy Braid has now dropped to the back. Rock on Susie Q's kicked on again by two. Inspirina Relief is second. Miletri and Slain is third. Caper Pears fourth. One of two of those who were wide on the track have lost a lot of ground on that turn there as they race to the 18th. Over the 18th they go and they're all safely over that as well. Although um, Quality Queen was a little bit untidy. And Rock on Susie Q leads by two. To Inspirina Relief second. Green T wide on the track. He's still making a challenge. Miletri and Slain is still there. So is Cape of Pears. Banks of the Nile trying to get back into it. So too's Quality Queen. Wizard has dropped tamely away as they race down towards the next the 19th this is the fourth from home and it's rock on Susie Q gets over in the lead not such a quick jump though this time and Inspirina Relief is moving to see his second Banks of the Niles moving on the outside Quality Queen then Green Tea Cozy Braid has come back through from the back so too has Plyne Luke and it's all changed all of a sudden as they get to the third last but it's still rock on Susie Q in the lead from Green Tea who's second then comes Banks of the Nile Cozy Braid is in fourth then Quality Queen then Inspirina Relief and Plyne Luke trying to run around the outside his ninth edition they've only got three to take then no only got two to take and it's rock on Susie Q from Green Tea. Cozy Brader almost running itself into a cul de sac there now. He's going to need some lucky running to get through there but manages to get through. It's Green Tea coming out of the second last. Green Tea from Cozy Brader. Banks of the Nile on the outside. Rock on Susie Q's beaten. It's Green Tea in the lead from Cozy Brader. Further and a half to go. One to jump. Banks of the Nile on the outside now coming through to challenge Green Tea. It's almost three in line over the final fence. They go Banks of the Nile in the lead from Green Tea. Cozy Brader is back in third but it's Banks of the Nile assert and Banks of the Nile is going to take the Irish Grand National racing up towards the line it's going to be Banks of Nile it's Banks of the Nile that takes it Green Tea is second and Cozy Braid a third close for fourth between Wizard and Ninth Edition Inspirina Relief after that and all the way back to Molectrian Train and Banks of the Nile was caught wide for quite a lot of the race but managed to get in on that final turn to take it another big race win for Leon van Rensburg and Banks the North for Leon van Rensburg the winner green tea for David Hooley second and then three from right out of the handicap taking the minus Cozy Breda for David Robertson Wizard for Martin Lynn was fourth and ninth edition for Craig Allen was fifth